Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at the best software manager for Windows, and it's called UniGet UI. It's formerly the Winget UI, which I showed you quite some time ago, but I wanted to show you this new updated version because it's quite nice. You can see here the main goal of this project is to create an intuitive GUI for the most common uh, CLI package managers for Windows 10 and Windows 11, such as Winget, Scoop, Chocolaty, Pip, and npm net tool and powershell gallery with this app you'll be able to easily download install and update and uninstall any software that's published on the support package managers website which is really useful for people that just want really ease of use of installing updating and also uninstalling software as you can see here it works for these versions of windows including windows server 22 and 25 and I'm going to download the file using the download button right here. And once we've got this downloaded, we can install for all of our users on this computer. So let's go ahead and select that. Select yes for the user account control and then choose your language. And then we're going to go ahead and click next. Choose the location where you want to install it. And again, you can perform a regular installation or you can use this as a portable installation. Or we can go with the regular installation. So I'll stick with regular here and click install and this will go ahead and install our software onto our pc here once that's done we can launch a uniget ui here so let's go ahead and click finish and this will launch the application and it will look something looking like this when it populates on the screen and there we go and once that's done we can have this full screen if we wanted to but i'm just gonna leave it like this for now and have a look at some of the settings here so first off we've got discover packages and you can search for packages that you want to install on your system. What are packages? Well, they're programs you can basically install on your PC using this method here. A little bit like Linux does with its uh, uh, package manager where you can install software. This is allowing you to do the same thing. So let's go ahead and do a search for say Note, Notepad++ and we can go ahead and search for that and it will find the download link for us and we can go ahead and just install it. You can see it gives us the package name right here, which is the program name the package ID, and it also gives us the version it is and also the source of where it's coming from, which is the Winget source. And there might be others that populate on here. You just have to be patient because it's scanning and it's trying to find different locations where you can download this from, whether it'll be Chocolatey or other places like PowerShell. And you can see here, it's going to give us those options available. You've got the search mode here and filters here, which you can mess around with. But let's go ahead and what we'll do is we'll get this installed on the system. So all you need to do to install it, you can just check it here and we can click on install selected package. So let's go ahead and do that right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and it will go ahead and download and install it. You get a yes to the user account control here and it's already done in downloaded and installed on this computer. So that's how you can search for programs and install them on your system using uh, the UniGet UI program. It's very useful and very quick and easy to install your program. So let's go ahead and do one more. We're going to do 7-zip here, and you can see it's now going off and searching, and it's found 7-zip, and you can see it's going to get it from the Winget if I want to, or there's the Chocolatey community, and there's a bunch of other options available here if you want to get the alpha versions and other versions here. So this will just do a scan, let that finish and you can go ahead and click on the install and it will go ahead and download and install it. Really cool. Now this application does more than just downloading and installing your software. It actually allows you to update all of the software that's installed on your system here. So you can see we've got Windows Terminal, Microsoft Visual C++ and a bunch of other stuff that you can update. So this is going to allow you to update. Now, remember, this is on a virtual machine, but you can see here, update as administrator. And there's a bunch of other little icons up here, like uh, skip integrity checks. And we've got interactive update. And there's some other ones like installation options. And we've got some other options available to us, like share uh, uh, packages as well and links. You can see that right there with the share icon. I'll show you that a little bit later on. But we can also ignore uh, selected packages and we can also update them just like I did here, and it will go ahead and update all of the packages installed on that system. 
So here we have also our installed packages and you can see here we have 7-Zip and Copilot and all the other stuff that comes installed on Windows. And you could use this as an uninstaller as well. So basically if you wanted to uninstall something, you can check mark it and you can uninstall it. And it says, are you sure? Do you really want to uninstall the following two packages? Copilot and also Notepad++. And that's because it's linked with Copilot and it will uninstall it. So depending on what you want to do here will determine on whether you want to uninstall those packages. So you can see it's now going to remove both of those because it, they're both attached to Copilot. Feedback, again, I can go ahead and remove feedback here. And there's a bunch of built-in apps that you might not need, like Get Help and other stuff like that, which you can go ahead and uninstall. And this will free up space and also stop these programs from uh, being on the system and taking up space. So now we've downloaded software and we've updated our software and we can also uninstall our software from here as well. You can also see right here, I can do a search for software either up the top right or in the middle here, and it will go ahead and search for that and allow us to download and install it. So let's go ahead and we can also search for Windows applications like Xbox, uh, Microsoft Store and other built-in apps. If you want to reinstall them on the system, you can do a search for it. And you can also share links here by clicking on the share link here. And this will give you a option to share it with other people. This will just allow you to copy the link and share it with someone else so they can download the package or you can download it yourself. Now this will allow you to create codes and also links to share with people if you want to share a link. And it will take you to his website where you'll be able to download this particular item and you can do it for any item on here and it will open up the page you can also double click on it and you can see share this package and install so depending on which way you want to go about doing it you can share the package and you can also install it from here you can also run it as administrator and do some other options by just double clicking on it like this and you've got some options which you can change inside here if you wanted to change those options and this is giving you a direct link right here and you can also share this package and install it from here and change some of the installation options that you might want to change. So a really useful way of installing, update and uninstalling packages as well. So also what this actual program will allow you to do, let me just do a quick search here for Microsoft Store and other uh, applications that are tied to that particular program. You can see here, Coral Painter Essentials and some other stuff here like Coral Painter Microsoft Store Edition. And again, you can go through and check what you want to search for. This is just giving you an idea. So let me do a search for paint. And if you wanted to install paint.net or one of these other applications, you can just check mark it and install it. It's that simple. Now you can also create your own packages where you can create your own list of packages that you want to reinstall. So if you format your PC and you have that package saved, you'll be able to click on it and it will go ahead and install all of the applications again in one swoop. I will show you that in a second, but basically I just want to quickly install paint.net here and show you how easy it is to search for programs and install them. So very useful application i think every windows user should be using something like this because it makes things a lot easier for them and it's a great way of managing all of your software on your computer so let's take a quick look at the settings panel here so when you go in the settings panel you've got access to all of your settings here for general preferences and you've also got your user interface preferences here and also notification preferences uh, startup options here and also update preferences as well you can configure it all all inside the settings panel it's really simple and easy to do backup and installed packages right here and we also have administration uh, privileges and these are all your package managers that it's going to be searching so you, if you don't want to use certain uh, package managers you just turn them off so that is the settings panel. Let's have a quick look here. One more time, I'm going to go ahead and go Notepad++ here. And there it is right there. And up the top, I can add this selection to a bundle. So if I wanted to create a bundle of applications to reinstall 
once I've wiped my system clean, you can do. And you can see there's only one application in here at the moment, but if you wanted to add more of these, you can do. And all you need to do here is basically go here and save bundle as, and this is obviously only going to save uh, the Notepad++ bundle because that's all we've got in here. And there it is right there, and it will give you a little uh, installation file which you'll be able to click on and install. Now, of course, you can make this list as big as you like. And again, you can see here when I click on, right click on this, it gives me options to remove them from my list as well. And there is the actual file right here. When I click on it, it will install it back. So let's go ahead and uh, create another bundle here. So I'm going to go into this section right here. And you can check mark some of the applications that you might want to add into your own bundles. So I'm going to go ahead and check mark some of these so you can get a rough idea of how this works. So let me go ahead and say check mark, say this one right here. And once you've got your selection done, you can now click on the add selection to bundle and it will basically create a bundle for you just like so. And it's added it into the bundle list, which is Notepad++, Discord and a bunch of other applications. Now you can save that bundle as whatever you want to call it. And when you go ahead and uh, install this, it's going to install all of those onto your system. And you can see the bundle is now grown in size. And that's it. It's that simple. That's how you can save a lot of time by managing all of your software on a Windows-based system using the UniGet uh, UI. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy this sort of content, then give the video a thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And let me know in the comments section below what sort of videos you want to see, and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. A quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support, whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three. I really do appreciate it. I shall catch you in the next video, or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.